Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're doing another compatibility and we're doing another one of my favorite pairs. This is one of the times that I do use the whole opposites attract thing, even though I don't think that's the reason they're good together. I'm not one of those astrologers that is just like, oh, opposites attract, it's great, no. So today we're gonna be talking about Virgo and Pisces together. And the reason why I love them so much is because they really remind me of the magician card in the tarot. So if that's what you came to see, make sure you stick around. First, we're gonna talk about what's good about them, what is something that brings them together, and then we're gonna go into some possible pitfalls that could come between a Virgo and a Pisces, so that if you're in a relationship with a Virgo or a Pisces, and you would like um, some red flags, like things to look out for, or things to avoid if you really wanna make it work with your Virgo or your Pisces, then I'm gonna give you the heads up. So let's get into the video. So first of all, the reason why I love these two people together is because individually, Virgo and Pisces are the kinds of people that, you know, because this is the service axis, service axis being the 12th and 6th house, Pisces and Virgo, they are two very service oriented people. They love to do things for others because it makes them happy. It makes them feel complete. It makes them feel like better people. And that is how they derive a lot of their, of their identity, uh, Virgo and, and Pisces people. So because of this, they can sometimes be taken advantage of by other people who don't want to do their own work. They get with the Pisces or they get with the Virgo and Pisces will do all the emotional work and Virgo will do all the physical work. Okay, so when they come together, I really feel that they can balance this out in each other and they'll finally have somebody who's going to do for them as much as they do for the other person. So I think that's one of the reasons why they're such a wonderful pairing. So Virgo is ruled by Mercury, which means that they're concerned with practical matters. And Virgo is the kind of person that is going to want to get everything absolutely right. They work to like they work themselves into the ground basically because they are very task focused people they are ruled by earth the earth element their mutable earth element so because of this they're always looking for changes in their daily lives and how they can adapt to those changes because mutable energy is concerned with adapting and making sure that they are up to the task whatever task is at hand and specifically virgo is very much about that because it is Earth focused and earth people are very practical so Virgo can be very very focused on the day-to-day -day things and their routines and the routines that they forget to relax and in enters Pisces Pisces is on the other end of the spectrum Pisces can spend periods of time when they absolutely kind of check out from their body they live the, they leave the physical plane and spend their time in the clouds so it at the most like unhealthy level pisces can be a bit of an escapist and virgo this can be also called they escape through work but is that really escaping if you are you know here on earth i guess you can you can escape out here right so when they come together, Pisces can help the Virgo learn to relax because Virgo, the reason why they're always task focused and the reason why they're always trying to fix themselves up and pluck their eyebrows and make sure that everything's in line is because they, they're concerned with purification and they want to perfect themselves and kind of picture um, a sculptor sculpting away at a piece of clay and how they want to get the most perfect sculpture. And that's how Virgo works tirelessly every single day trying to get things until they're perfect. And Pisces, because they are ruled by Neptune and Jupiter, they see things with a kind of romantic filter around them. So they see the Virgo as the highest form that the Virgo can be. They already see them as perfect. So little by little, Virgo can kind of learn to trust that Pisces sees them from a higher vantage point and can learn that they don't have to try so hard, especially when they're at home with their Pisces person. Uh, the Pisces person also can learn to kind of stay on this earth 
Pisces, as we said, can have a tendency to spend some time up in the clouds and Virgo doesn't spend any time in the clouds. So seeing their Virgo partner do their daily routines and daily tasks can remind Pisces like, hey, I have to stay in my body. We have to keep moving. We have to do the physical things that are required. We have to do chores. We have to do our responsibilities. We have to go to work. All of those things are the things that Pisces can kind of fall away from whenever they are in an unhealthy state. And at the very best, Virgo can remind the Pisces that, hey, like you have to stay on your body, you have to stay on task. Or when Pisces just absolutely needs a helping hand, Virgo is very much the kind of person who will go in and do those acts of love, acts of service for you as their love language Pisces. So if you need a helping hand, Virgo is going to be that helping hand. So do you see how that kind of like balances itself out? Another thing that I think is really wonderful between Pisces and Virgo is that, again, Virgo is so practical that they could forget that there's magic in the world. And Pisces very much knows, unless they've been crushed by society, in which case they can be, or by society or their environment, their family, whatever. But Pisces very much knows that magic exists and believes in magic and whatever that means to you. They have faith, faith in the unseen. So Pisces can remind Virgo, or maybe not even remind, they can show Virgo that despite all the things that we have here on earth, there is something higher to hope for and wish for. And they could show Virgo how to wish, how to have faith and how to wish. And what is so wonderful about that is that when you bring that together, that really reminds me of, of the magician card because the magician, if you look at it, He's pointing towards the heaven, and that's Pisces, and Virgo is pointing towards the earth. And what he does is combine through him the power of what's up there, of the universe, and the power of the earth, you know, the earth, the things that you could do physically on this plane, right? So when you get those two things together, that is manifestation. That is when you make your dreams come true. So really Virgo and Pisces together, even though they're, they might not be traditionally like considered like a power couple, to me, this is a very powerful combination, especially if the two partners know how to listen to each other. So now let's get into the things that might go wrong. So the things that might go wrong are miscommunications and especially because Virgo can be the type of person to give unsolicited advice and just so you know Virgos do this because first of all they can't help it they notice absolutely every single detail because that's just how their mind works so when they see something they have to say it because they're ruled by Mercury so that they have to communicate. Communication is very important to Mercury ruled people. So Virgo is going to want to tell you the things that they noticed. And Pisces, because Pisces is very, the, the more negative trait associated with Pisces can be victimization and kind of allowing themselves to get into like this loser mentality. So they, Virgo can make a comment like, hey, like the house is looking kind of, kind of messy right now. Pisces, if they're doing poorly, they might hear that comment and be like, you, you said the house is messy. Are you trying to say that I'm like a piece of garbage, that you hate me, that I'm a slob, that I'm gross and that I'll never amount to anything? And I know that sounds like an exaggeration, but if Pisces isn't doing well, that is what they'll hear. And even though the Virgo didn't intend that at all, maybe Virgo meant like, hey, the house is looking kind of messy. We should clean it. Let's, let's, let's start tidying up. That is maybe what Virgo meant, but Pisces doesn't hear that, especially if they're swimming in deep waters. If you haven't watched my video on the elements, the water video, that's a really good one, or the 12th house sun video if you're a 12th house sun, or if you're a Pisces, this might still help you. So if you're a Pisces person, you can get kind of bogged down by negativity. And if you are already swimming in this soup of negativity and you're feeling a little bit sorry for yourself, and, and Virgo makes just one little tiny comment that isn't even mean, isn't even harsh, sometimes isn't even personal, you're going to take it personally. And that's when things fall apart. So the thing to remember, Virgo, is always, even though you yourself are not very emotional, feel the, feel the room, you know, feel the vibe of the room to see how your Pisces is doing and use that as a measure of how you should communicate with them because Pisces is very sensitive. And Pisces, 
whenever you're doing well mentally, just remind yourself that Virgo doesn't mean any harm and that the reason why they say the things that they say is because they have a lot of mental anxiety. They have a lot of anxiety and they just try to solve the anxiety by talking it out loud and trying to fix the things that they see as like crooked or wrong. So that is really, you need to understand the way that you both operate and that would really help you to understand each other better and to make things work. So just to recap, I think that you guys are really wonderful together. Uh, Pisces can help Virgo, you know, fly a little bit off the ground and a Virgo can remind Pisces to stay in their body, that they are a human body, that they're not just a spirit and to take care of their physical body and to do their tasks, their daily tasks that are necessary in order to survive. And Pisces can show Virgo how to dream. And putting those things together is really wonderful. So I think they're a really good pairing if they can remember that they just operate on two different levels and they have to keep that in mind. So that's the video for today, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I put out videos every single week and I'll see you in the next one.